Hello, this is Mr. Q. I'm going to show you what happens when you have a radius and a tangent line. So right now, all we have, can you see that? That's just a point. Uh, that point right there, so I zoomed in, uh, is going to be the center of our circle. So I'm going to take this compass, okay, and I'm going to take this metal part, the sharp metal part that you don't want to stab yourself with because then that would, that would hurt. And I'm going to put it on that point right there. That's going to be the center of our circle. And then I'm going to uh, draw a circle and I'm having some trouble. So I'm just going to rotate the paper instead of rotating the compass. Okay, so uh, can you guys see that circle? Okay, so that's a good enough circle. And then I'm going to pick a random point uh, on this circle. Okay, and so there's my random points. I'm going to take my straight edge, my three-sided ruler. If you just have a one-sided ruler, that's fine. And I'm going to draw a tangent line. So a line that intersects this circle at exactly one point. So here's my tangent line, intersects the circle right there. Now I'm going to connect, I'm going to make a radius that connects the center, that's why I put that point there, and connect it to that point of tangency right there. Now, look at that, look at that. Now, stare at it, press pause, what do you think we, uh, we just made, what do you think we, we made with this? Well, this radius right here and this tangent line are, hmm, they are perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular lines are lines that make 90 degree angles. If you don't believe me, uh, so take, go find a piece of paper. So here's a piece of graph paper. Look at all these 90 degree angles. We know this is a right angle. I'm just going to put it right there. And look at that. It is a right angle. I'll put it right here. And that is also a right angle. Let me find some other things with corners. That's a corner and that's the 90 degree angle. That's a 90 degree angle. So a radius and a tangent line are perpendicular. So when this radius intersects this tangent line at the point of tangency, they make 90 degree angles. So um, that's important. Uh, because it's gonna make the book and make teachers uh, give you a bunch of problems where you have to use this concept about a radius and a tangent line that are perpendicular. So here's the first example right here. So determine if line AB, here's line AB, is tangent to the circle. So does this line touch the circle exactly once or does it touch it more than once? Uh, and, um, and you cannot use um, a piece of paper to determine if that's a right angle or not. You can't use a protractor. The reason why I use a piece of paper is because I don't have a protractor. But look at what they drew. They drew a triangle. And we're trying to determine whether this is a right angle or really this is a right triangle. So let's think about this. What formula or what theorem can we use that, um, that requires a right triangle? Yes, the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem uh, to determine whether this is a right triangle. So remember, the Pythagorean theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now, if this Pythagorean theorem works, then that means this is a right triangle. So if this is equal to this, then yes, it's a right triangle. If it's not, then this is not a tangent line. That means this touches the circle more than once. So let's see. Uh, our C is the hypotenuse. And if this was a really a 90 degree angle, this would be the hypotenuse. So we'll just plug in that 16 to make it 16 squared is equal to a squared, which either one of these legs, which is nine. Let's just use this 9.6 squared plus now this is a tricky part. Uh, if you notice, the 6.4 is just right here. And from here to here is a radius. And if you guys remember, all the radii in a circle are all the same length. So if this is 6.4, this has to be 6.4. So the length of this diameter would be 6.4 times 2. And let's use our calculator just to make sure we, we get it correct. 
which is 12.8. So uh, when we use the Pythagorean theorem, it will. this is how we set it up. Now, let's just see if this really does, this side really does equal this side. So 16 squared, if you don't know it by heart, it's 256 is equal to, maybe is it equal to, I don't know. Uh, so actually we'll put a question mark here and question mark here, because we really don't know if they really are equal yet. So we don't know. Uh, so 9.6 squared would be 92.16 plus 12.8 squared which would be 163.84. And I wanna add these two sides, so let's add them. Uh, 163.84 plus 92.16, which is 256. So really, this side, the C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So when this side is equal to this side, that means that this is a right triangle, so this is a right angle, and so this line right here is tangent to the circle. So yes, because of the Pythagorean theorem, okay? Um, let's look at this next example, okay? It's the same, um, same instructions, determine if AB is tangent to the circle. <clears throat> so is this line, uh, tangent to this circle. Does this line touch the circle exactly once? Now remember, if they really are tangent, that means that this line would be perpendicular to this line and this one, this angle would possibly be a right angle. I'm putting that question mark right there because we really don't know if it's a, if it's a right angle yet. So let's determine it. Let's use a Pythagorean theorem. If the Pythagorean theorem works, then yeah, it's a right triangle and that this is a tangent line. So if this was a 90, then this would be our hypotenuse. Uh, so let's remember, so C squared, maybe A squared plus B squared. So it might equal, I don't know yet. So, um, so this length right here is just five. What's the length of this right here? Well, if this right here is a radius, this is also the radius, so this would be nine so the length from here all the way to here from the center to b would be nine plus five which would be 14. and question mark because we don't know um a squared either one of these two legs let's make it nine squared plus let's do this side 12 squared so nine squared oh i forgot the square right here uh now let's use our calculator uh 14 squared is what do you guys think uh, do you guys know it? 14 squared is 196. 9 squared is 81. 12 squared is 144. Uh, let's add this 81 plus 144, which is 225. Whoa. And this side is 96. Uh, so these two are not equal. So this is not a tangent line. This line is not tangent to this circle. Um, so yeah, there you, there you have it. Um, so not tangent. So this is how you determine whether a line is tangent to a circle. You use a Pythagorean theorem to determine whether this is a right triangle and this is a right angle. Um, because remember, tangent lines and the radius that intersects it at that point of tangency uh, are perpendicular. So uh, yeah, hope this helps. And there you go. Have a great day.